opinion is that you should be able to feed anywhere and at any time because it's like people who go out for lunch and want a sandwich, it's the same with breastfeeding. Babies can't eat sandwiches yet but they need their milk. I think as long as you're being discreet, I don't think there's any reason not to be breastfeeding anywhere. I also don't think it's particularly nice to pull your boobies out in the middle of a public place. When we can go um, topless on the beaches and there's nothing said, so why can't they breastfeed which is something natural? Yeah, it's food. It's, yeah, it's baby having its food. Exactly. I am against it in some areas. Obviously, if you're in a restaurant and um, a lady starts breastfeeding next to you, some people might think uh, might feel uncomfortable with that, as obviously they're trying to eat or um, drink or what have you. It seems that some people don't like to see people doing it, uh, especially older ladies. What I absolutely don't like is when I'm eating my lunch and somebody flashes their breast, um, you know, while I'm eating my lunch. I think it's. The 70s mums that were kind of like, yeah, get the breast out, get the baby on it, that kind of put people's noses out of joint. I think people are so discreet with breastfeeding these days, you don't even notice that it's happening. I, I think it's fine because I eat in public, I eat my McDonald's, and uh, but they can't they can't choose whether to eat their McDonald's or not. It's not a pretty sight. Yeah, I know, exactly. It's not a pretty sight to see the breastfeeding, but it's, yeah, they, it has to be done. It's not a question of being allowed. Women should breastfeed wherever they want to. I was one of these earth mother types that um, actually breastfed till my son was two and uh, I, I did it openly in public whether people liked it or not but I think I was possibly a little bit bolder than some women. Okay. I saw a woman breastfeeding and I felt really inappropriate, I didn't know where to look because I was sitting here and she was sitting right in front of me, I just had to like stare out the window. It was the most unpleasant experience uh, in public areas as in shopping malls etc. Uh, and surprisingly, the people that tutted the most were the older generation. I started to breastfeed when he was first born um, and I had to stop just purely because of the difficulties when you're going out in public and stuff like that. A lot of people don't agree with it and it, you find it hard to stop and just, you know, well, just stop and breastfeed really. It's, it's kind of difficult. The only time is when I've tried to feed in a restaurant maybe and I've felt slightly um, people are eating and they sort of slightly look at you a bit oddly, but I try not to make that. Uh, problem. I actually saw a lady breastfeeding on a bus once and uh, it was actually another woman that got very very upset about it and um, uh, complained to the, uh, the, the bus driver. George Street's the worst place, there's absolutely nowhere in George Street to feed, to change, to do anything. <laughs> George Street near Blatchington Road is absolutely awful, there's nowhere. I think you need a specific mother and baby cafe or something with a playroom. Baby. That would be quite good. If you haven't got money and you don't want to go and sit in a cafe, which isn't what always you want to do with a baby, and it's raining, there's not a lot to do. I think um, that a lot of the facilities are relying on the, sort of the commercial side of things, the shops. A lot of places also, they won't heat up your baby milk, so you have to bring water and powder so that they will heat up the water for you, which is obviously made still complicated, even when you're made to, made to feel that you can't breastfeed you're still made to feel awkward when you want to heat up a bottle so it makes it even worse for mums that do want to go out with their babies you sort of basically you're told to stay at home. Mother care used to have the best facilities and they were lovely I think if, if you could model any um, any local authority facilities on those then you'd be going a long way to doing it really. They should try not to give them somewhere to go but to try and um, educate people more into um, accepting it as natural and not something that's dirty and, and should be frowned upon. It does seem like an extremely baby friendly, children friendly city. I do think Brighton um, is a great place to bring up a baby, I really do. Um, I do think it's a great push to do that, to try and make it friendly for babies. And I think maybe it's just a little bit more sort of welcoming attitude by people as well as council. When I was expecting my elders, we moved down here to be somewhere that's more um, sort of cosmopolitan, more liberal, somewhere freer to bring a child up where it's not as restricted and it's not as prejudiced. Um, I think Brighton's a good place to bring your children up, definitely. Brighton's definitely more um, more baby friendly than places like Crawley and Eastport, definitely. If you are going to have a family and bring up a family, I think this is an ideal place to bring it. It's um, it's a, it's, a, it's a great uh, great city. Um, it's got amenities for just all, all ages and um, it's kind of like Lon London on sea.
and uh, but without the stress.